Hey guys, workout judging video number three. All right, so as usual, you are going to start out with a clipboard that is going to have all of your heat times for your lane assignment. Uh, and then when athletes come over to you, they are going to bring you the scorecard for that workout. So workout number three, partner A is going to complete their entire section and then partner B is going to complete their entire section. The score for this workout is the time. So that is the most important thing on this list. The rest of the space is for you just to keep track. For the wall balls, you're probably gonna to wanna to count off in fives or something along those lines. For the calorie row, we're just gonna need a check mark to say that it was completed. All right, let's go over some of the standards for this workout uh, and make sure that you're ready to put the time on at the end. Actually, before we get there, a couple of things on wall balls. They are going to tell you what division they're in, whether it's uh, male, male RX, male, female RX, et cetera. For each division, there is only going to be one single wall ball. So for the one single wall ball, if it's a male female division or a male female in the RX division, they're all going to be using a 20 pound ball. Uh, in the scale division, if it's a male female, they're going to be using a 14 pound ball. This is all detailed on the sheet. However, males will always be going to the 10 foot target, which is the high target behind me that Devin will be using. And females will always be going to the low target, which is the nine foot target, which is the one that Molly will be using as we go through to demo this workout. All right, so let's start with talking about the points of performance for the wall ball. So first of all, the rep for the wall ball is going to start on the ground. Devin is going to pick it up, stand all the way up, right, and go into that first rep. So what I'm looking for is that his squat is in the full depth position. You can see the crease of his hip is below his knee. Again, if you were to place a marble on that knee, it would roll backwards and down, all right? And now Devin is going to stand all the way up and I'm looking for the ball to make contact with the appropriate target. So excellent. All right, Devin, it is time to transition to the rower. Molly is going to be in charge or the other partner is going to be making in charge of making sure that the screen is on. Every time that the screen is on, I'm not touching that, you're in charge. All right, so I'm looking for that it's set to calories and that it starts out at zero. At this point, Devin is able to go ahead and start rowing. All right, you get to 30, excellent. And I'm going to watch Devin head back to the target. Molly is again in charge of the uh, setting up for the wall balls. Now, because Molly is going to be next on the rower, as soon as Devin starts the wall balls and is off of the rower and that she's reset it, she is able to get set up. Partner B is able to get started. However, she needs for me to get back to her screen and see that it's zero before she is allowed to start. So I am in charge of her starting. So as Devin is finishing his wall balls, let's see, he's at 28, 29, and 30. I'm looking, go. And Molly is gonna go ahead and get started. So Molly Rose gets to 30 calories here. Excellent. Now Devin, even though he's dying from everything that he's done, has to reset it. Molly is going straight into her wall balls. And again, Molly is a female, so she is using the lower target, uh, but the same ball as what Devin is. All right, let's not blow up your knee here. Excellent. Molly would finish on the row here. It is reset, zero. And at this point, as soon as she gets to 30, I'm saying, okay, and time, and I'm denoting the time on the clock, ready to go. Um, as far as the rower goes, they can have the feet set up however, however they would like. They, would, they can have the damper set up however they like. It's really just that they're getting to 30 calories. The big standards that we're looking for on this is on the wall ball where they're hitting below the crease and then the ball is hitting all the way at the target. All right, let's get after it. Workout number three. There goes.